Hello, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, and welcome. It's Nurse Richard, the Wax Wizard. Thanks for joining me. Look at this. Why do you think all that is in there? Hmm? Yes, you're right. It's full of cotton wool. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I've had some really naughty, naughty patients in this last few weeks. Um, I don't get it. Yeah, there's, there's um, for five years in, just in case you missed that noise, it was five years in this uh, little compilation today. And uh, the first two years are from the same patient who is this, which you can see has been uh, wedging a cotton bud in her ear. Why? I don't know. But I've <laughs> kind of lost the will to live sometimes. I've stopped asking, have you put a cotton bud in? Because I know, you can always tell. Um, quite difficult this to get out. So what I did, I put a load of um, olive oil in there just to drown it. And thankfully it helped me get a reasonable grip there and pull that out uh, quite nicely. It's not affecting the hearing too much, but um, um, it was incredibly itchy. And I'm not surprised when you look at all these cotton wool fibers in there. It's not fungus, it's definitely cotton wool fibers. Because when she's pushed it in like that, the wax that she had, she's just mushed it all the way around the canal wall. Um, this one was, was was a bit awkward, a bit tricky, because it's, um, it's she's pushed it right deep down in there as well. So it's a bit too deep, in my opinion, to start getting some tools in down there and forceps and whatever. You have to think of how much room you've got as well when you're thinking about using tools. Because we do get asked in the comments quite a lot, you know, why do you use this tool for that? Why do you use that tool for that? Um, most of the time I don't even uh, bother uh, replying. I just say because I don't know what I'm doing and I know how to get it out. <laughs> it's what I'm thinking in my head. Um, but you, you will see some difference between a lot of different practitioners. I'll tell you one of the reasons for that. Because um, in the Far East, East Asian um, channels, which you'll see quite a lot, there are quite a lot of, it's quite popular over there. You'll see them using um, cawthorn hooks and things like that quite commonly. Uh, to be honest, those usually are the best things for those type of procedures because uh, people of a Western descent tend to have a wetter earwax um, and, you know, tools and especially the cawthorn hooks like that. That's the little metal uh, L-shaped hook that you'll see. It will just slice through all of that. Um, but the uh, people of Eastern, it's all done gene genetics, a little bit of cotton wool I'll get that a little bit while I'm in there. Um, people of an Eastern Asian um, heritage tend to have a bit of a drier earwax, so you can get these like harder, drier things, which are much more easy um, to scoop out with those hooks rather than suction out. But um, Western wax traditionally a bit wetter, like this one here. You can see the difference in those two ears I've just shown you there. First one here. Now, this wasn't a cotton bud. Um, this lady had shoved a finger in there, shoved a little finger in there, right like that. And I thought, uh, I thought I'm thinking in my head, are you sure? Because it's gone right down onto the eardrum. I'm thinking, how on earth have you managed to, to shove that in there so deep, you know? Because the ear canal's not very big at all. It's quite small. And I'm thinking, how on earth did you manage to do that? Because most people, if you push your finger in there, you, I'm not saying try it, please don't. Won't be able to fit your finger in there, even your little finger. I can't get mine in there, I really can't. Um, and then I said, uh, and she said, oh no, no, look. And she, she showed me around, <laughs> she was quite a petite lady. And her fingers were absolutely tiny. <laughs> they were like two little toothpicks. Um, so I'm thinking, oh right, okay, I believe you. I imagine that's <laughs> what you have done. So she did it in this one, not in the other one. Um, as you saw the difference between this one as opposed to the other one. Still takes some doing. Um, and it is just one poke, that's all it took. Um, but hey ho, I'm not going to stop people doing this, so I'm giving up trying. <laughs> like I've said in, in other videos before, um, a, a lot of the business that we get is kind of self inflicted. So we're kind of <laughs> relying on some people's um, stupidity, is the wrong word, because that's quite insulting. <laughs> Um, maybe ignorance on, I don't mean that in a bad way, I mean that in the way that uh, you, you don't exactly maybe have the uh, medical or health experience knowledge to know exactly what you're going to, what you're doing when you put something in there, do you know what I mean? So I've, um, yeah, I've just come to accept it is what it is and people will always shove things in their ears. <laughs> people will always shove things in, in orifices that are not supposed to go in orifices. 
yes, I have done a little bit in A&E, so <laughs> I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Insert your own pun there. Um, yes, people will put anything anywhere. <laughs> uh, so there, this is the one that she hadn't poked a finger in. Um, uh, it's, it's quite soft and wet, this. It's too difficult to get it. Did just make a jump back because of that little squeak. Um, a little bit there left. Not really too significant, but I thought let's just get that one little bit there. It's always a good idea to leave a few little smears around the outside. Um, healthy for you. Having a, a bit of earwax in there, the natural oils lubricate your ear. Uh, last one here, just a, a quick little slurpy one. Fell again into me with a half blocked ear. Uh, so I, it, it, I threw a load of oil at it because it was kind of this sludgy stuff. Um, so threw a load of oil in there and it just uh, slurped up nicely. I know some of you like a nice slurpy slimy one there. There we go. See the edge of my distance, fine. I'll just get that little bit while I'm at it. Be rude not to, eh? While I'm already here. And there we go. There, that one is. So, uh, hope you enjoyed that. Um, stop shoving stuff in your ears. But for now, <laughs> take care of yourself. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.